Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of M Crater Lore. Today what we're going to be working on is a texture for basically marble. And then what I want to do is uh, we'll be probably working on a couple different stone variants this week. Uh, well, not this week, but the next couple episodes. Um, I want to make a whole bunch of different stone blocks and stuff. But uh, we need to start with the texture because that's going to be the main foundation of pretty much our entire um, stone variant. And basically what it's going to be is very similar to how the... Um, andersite, granite, and diorite works, only we're going to be using a few different um, kind of materials. So marble is the first one that I'm going to add. I think I'll add basalt and um, shale as well. So there's going to be a few different variants for the, um, the marble and stuff like that. So I also want to add stairs, but um, due to time restrictions and stuff like that, I needed to... Um, uh, just get the blocks in for today so I could basically show you what I created and uh, then we'll probably work on the stair variants, slab variants, and a whole bunch of other things later on uh, at a future date. So probably next episode, no, no doubt. Alright, so basically what I was just uh, working on is kind of experimenting with the uh, color. I wanted to kind of go away from the pure white and gray texture and I wanted to add a little bit of um, blue to the uh, palette so basically what I'm doing is I'm slightly increasing the um, the actual uh, hue or the saturation pardon me and I'm decreasing or increasing the hue by a little bit and then also decreasing the value by a little bit this allows me to get a nice combination between the a uh, few colors um, while still providing a kind of a gray texture, but it's still more of a bluey kind of gray, which helps with the um, representation. A lot of games actually use blue as their black scale, so it's um, understandable for how it would work. And it actually looks really good when you use the right shades and uh, hues and stuff like that. So when I'm basically working on is just basically exporting that and then we could start working on basically a um, polished version so I wanted to create a polished version and I was just messing around with um, trying to get the like a uh, overlay uh, for the texture over and it was a little bit um, not working as well as I was hoping because it wasn't like bright and everything like that. As you can see, some of the parts weren't exactly lighting up with the overlay, so um, that was probably due to my design for the the white, how close to white those particular colors were. And as looking at it, it didn't look that good, so basically what I did was I just undid all that, and I worked on, um, I think I went with the light, lighting or darkening um, aspect of it, and then I could basically uh, do a darker version. I think I'd drop the darkness though down quite a bit So I just wanted to see if that would look good and it did so what I ended up doing was just keeping that as the polished texture and Then I basically just Experimented with a different a few different things and I'm like okay now that I think it's just good as it is right so I basically save the texture as it is and then I was able to uh, start working on a cobblestone um, variant. So this was like a just kind of like a cobblestone one. I know that andersite and diorite and all those other ones don't have cobblestone textures, but they I don't know they should because there's quite a few different um, like when you break stone, you don't always just get blocks of it, right? So um, having cobblestone variants would be pretty cool. So I'm just kind of trying to mix in the colors right now with the um, texture for the marble and seeing how it looks and everything like that. So I needed to adjust the um, the actual part for the base here. As you can see, they're not aligning at the bottom right corner. So I was just basically moved the old marble texture that we basically created and then I just kind of moved it over just to see if that would fix the issue and sure enough it did. So I just basically replaced what I did over on that side with that. And 
yeah, so that's basically the texture. I was just doing some final touches with that so it would uh, look a little bit better. Testing it out to see how it looks on a 32 by 32 uh, tiling. And then basically what I needed to do was I just wanted to save this and I needed to compact that down and then I called it cobbled moss or marble and then I could save it as that and then I wanted to create a um, mossy version of this cobblestone so uh, basically what I wanted to do I probably will come back and try to adjust this a little bit more because it wasn't exactly it's it's too much contrast I think for the mossy cobblestone I think having a few mossy variants that are a little bit faded might be a little bit better for the um, actual thing but as you can see I started with a lot of contrast and I worked my way up to a dark contrast and that just basically made things worse when it was working with this particular thing now on other blocks that we have in this palette that would probably work really well but um, when it comes to like lighter colors we probably need to make it a little bit more um, faded for the greens and stuff like that. That might help with the mossy colors. So it'll it'll make more sense. Like as you can see, there's so much contrast with the the white and the, um, the green here. So um, what I need to do, I think, is just basically fade it in and uh, basically lower the saturation on the colors to kind of blend it in a little bit more. I think that would probably be better. Uh, we could even use the mossy color and just basically overlay it. That might allow us to blend it using filters and stuff. We'll see if we can't do that in the next episode just to kind of patch things up. But um, this is basically what I worked on uh, regardless, just to kind of give a rough outline of what it would look like. And then I would have something to kind of um, experiment with with the... Um, in, in the actual game and stuff like that after we got the blocks in. So I did add a little bit of um, noise, not so much noise, but like uh, faded parts around the mossy part. I was thinking that might would have, that might have helped, but I think it just needs to be redesigned, honestly. So like it, it's a good texture. It's just, it could, um, it's too vibrant, I think and could use a little bit more um, less saturation for sure so that's basically what I'll probably end up working on next episode before we move into the actual thing so then I needed to import the textures so I needed to navigate to the folder I need to figure out the folder I wasn't exactly paying attention where I was clicking and I needed to select all the marble textures that we just created so imported them so these are all the textures that I imported and then we could start making the foundational blocks for the cubes and then probably next episode I'll fix the textures for the mossy cobblestone and we'll probably get in the um, variants for stairs, slabs, things like that and that way we'll, we, we have a good uh, variant things for building and stuff. Um, the more models and stuff that we have the better because then we'll have more variants and it'll be easier to work with uh, when designing structures and stuff so um, some different ideas for marble would be flooring or walls or uh, ancient structures uh, for like Greek kind of themed things so there's a lot of different variants you could actually work with with marble alone so I wanted to make sure that um, we have the tools and stuff that we need for making that. So things like different textures for it, um, different model variants, slabs, stairs, walls, um, things like that. Uh, we'll probably add pressure plates and buttons as well. So those are the main things that we'll need for each variant. And yeah, so the mossy cobblestone, I'm just adding the block right now for that, making sure the name's updated and uh, changing a few of the properties and we got that one done now we just need the polished version so basically is setting up the polished version and then we could just name it polished and then we can go ahead and move on to saving that i'm just selecting the order and putting it by the stone so it makes sense for what variant it is 
so people know okay this is stone uh, like a stone variant and then it was just a matter of regenerating the code and popping in game so when I was in game I just needed to make sure that everything was set up so we have all our marble blocks here and then I could basically experiment with the types of combinations that I would use normally for building. So I have a few different patterns I usually use for building and stuff like that, depending on the material. And I just wanted to see how it would actually look uh, as a solid face. And like I said, the the, uh, the mossy cobblestone is very high in contrast. So it's not exactly, it doesn't really blend with the cobblestone that well. Um, fading the textures might help a little bit but I'll need to kind of see what we can come up with next episode. Maybe this would be work fine, but we'll see if we can't fix that up a little bit. So this is the regular marble. This is what will be generated underground, and people will be able to mine that out. And then we got the um, combinations of it next to the cobblestone. That actually blends really nicely. I like how it blends like that. So it works really well with the mossy cobblestone. So that I'm really happy with. We'll probably keep the, mo or not the mossy cobblestone, the regular cobblestone. Uh, we'll probably keep the regular cobblestone and uh, just update the mossy cobblestone. So there's those things. And then I wanted to uh, test how tiling the marble with the polished marble would look. It kind of makes it kind of beveled uh, on some of them. So it kind of stands out, which looks good. And I just wanted to test how mossy cobblestone would look or not mossy cobblestone just cobblestone so c cobblestone would work really good too and just kind of tiling it from this angle just to see what it would look like so yeah I'm, I think we would need to adjust the mossy cobblestone texture a little bit more but um, just kind of variant testing now to see what it would look like and yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, that's what I got done today. And um, we'll probably be working on those few things next episode. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.